Howdy folks, this is Cowboy V2. Uh, so today we're gonna be taking out this uh, giant black oak stump. Uh, this is yet another casualty from the big wildfire we had come through here uh, last year. And it, you know, it, when this first happened and I was looking at the trees, I figured most of them were gonna come back and, and we'll end up seeing, we're still early in the spring, but uh, basically, um, uh, what's been happening gradually over the last few months, it's been about eight months since the fire, uh, is we've been having, uh, some of the oaks that haven't leafed out yet. Uh, well, that's all of them really, but, um, a, a lot of these oaks that haven't leafed out yet are, uh, uh, beginning to, uh, weaken and, and fall over. And so this one right here, you can see there was a big chunk that came out of the side of this, uh, and it actually came down and crushed my gate and then uh, went across the road there and you can see what's left of it uh, over on the fence there. I still have yet to clean that up. Um, anyway, and so I've got to fix this gate and I'm looking at, uh, you know, the rest of the uh, trail coming up uh, to part of the property here. And there's this massive black oak tree that was here. I cut it down yesterday. And, you know, I really hate to cut down an old tree. Uh, you can't really put them back. There have been a few historical examples of super rich guys that are moving around giant oak trees. Uh, uh, William Randolph Hearst did at Hearst Castle. Uh, but normally you can't move around giant H and oak trees. And so, you know, once you cut them, that's it. And it's a few hundred years to replace them and I won't be around. So um, anyway, I was looking at this one and uh you know really hesitant to cut it down um the uh trail here is uh, a little under eight feet wide before it drops off there really not ideal but what kind of sealed the deal for me is i came up around the backside, just kind of evaluating the different trees along the trail and uh if you look down in here you know i saw there was a big big opening where it had a scar or something and it was it was probably dead inside and and dry and rotted but when the fire came through it burned it out and then the other thing that i had noticed was looking at this bark normally this is you know like a couple inches deep uh the fissures in this and um I, initially i didn't really notice but i think what happened during the fire is uh all that uh dry deep bark that was there just kind of uh, smoldered and burned for, you know, a couple of days after the fire came through and just basically cooked the cambium layer off of all these, uh, off of all these trees or not off of it, but cooked them and killed it. And so you can see where the bark had popped off. You know, I had originally hoped that this tree would come back, but you can see mold growing underneath where the cambium layer is. So it was toast. Anyway, it is what it is, but this is a pretty big, uh, pretty big stump and uh these oak stumps it's not like pine you know pines kind of it's soft and it, it breaks easily this oak is really strong and so you look at this stump it's probably i don't know 40 inches wide or so that's a 42 inch bucket 42 inch width bucket and that's a deer 135 d excavator and uh you'd figure well i'll just pull that sucker over but there's just no way this little machine could do that uh without a lot of digging and um the only other real option in the conventional sense is to dig it out but being this is on this little narrow section of trail here i don't really want a swimming pool sized hole to get at all those the root ball and so what i'm going to try today is uh is actually i'm going to uh, notch the stump a bunch of uh times vertically and see if we can break it all out and uh, just basically take it out in chunks. And the goal here is basically to uh, widen up the trail and then trim this bank back um, so that, uh, you know, I can get equipment uh, through here a little bit more readily. Even sneaking the excavator past here, you can see, you know, that's uh, eight and a half feet or eight foot ten wide. It's got the wide tracks on it. And man, you know, I was hanging hanging probably 10 inches of track off the edge there. And I'm not really trying to flip the machine over. And so um, I need to get this widened out. And so we'll see if we can break up those chunks enough to get them out and then uh, widen this part of the trail up. This is uh, only the beginning of the cleanup. 
got a lot more to do so wildfire is a heck of a thing but uh it'll be i think it'll be okay anyway we'll get to it Alrighty, so that's uh, working out pretty good. The, the big thing to remember with these uh, big stumps and heavy machinery is take your time. You know, I've broken stuff before. And I think I posted another video where I had mentioned that um, little dozer that I had and just kind of learning. Uh, you don't ever want to be slamming stuff. You know, I'm not the smoothest operator. I'm, you know, novice by most standards and this is you know, a machine that's used on a private ranch. So I don't do this for a living or anything like that. Probably makes some of you pros cringe the way that I run this machine. But the big thing is not to slam or ram anything or, uh, or push it too far because, you know, that bucket's probably got three quarters of an inch sidewall reinforcement, but I've seen stuff like that where they'll actually break the back of the shell right out of it, you know, prying too hard. And I, honestly, I was probably putting it a little bit on the, uh, aggressive side you know prying prying out with those teeth so um anyway looking at this uh you know i got a lot uh loosened up i think i'm going to do some more cuts throw a fresh loop on the chainsaw last one was producing sawdust
Well, we ended up having to dig it out after all. Cutting it up turned out not to uh, to uh, do the trick. Uh, the material just at the uh, soil line was uh, way too hard to pull it all apart. And that's one of the big things with uh, oak is, is uh, it's really strong stuff. You can see the bottom of the stump there. I have it flipped over to uh, load it into the dump truck over there. Um, uh, you know, I broke up the top as much as I could and it just wasn't happening. And so I ended up with the, uh, well, maybe not quite swimming pool sized hole, but large hot tub at least. Uh, not ideal, but sometimes that's what you got to do. The other option would have been to uh, uh, get a stump grinder out here and grind that just below the, the soil line so that I could continue the trail. Um, but that wasn't really in the cards, mainly because of time. Okay, that's going to be it for today. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.